Shoot him up. Come on. Trying to snatch that nigga Brian. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to hit his talk. Hell, now I can't go for that. Still screaming free to all. So yeah. It's your boy, Mashiro YT, aka the Manga Messiah, aka the opinion that's better than yours, aka the peak fiction. God, hopping back into another video, boys. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Discord link in the description. Today, as you see by the title video, we're reviewing Jagan. You know, you either heard of this or you haven't heard of it. It's a few years old, but it's made by the same author that made Blue Lock. And honestly, I didn't expect much from this just because he made Blue Lock. Blue Lock is fucking trash. I don't even know how the fuck that shit got an anime. But that's a story for another day. We're talking about Jalagon today. The story that did not receive an anime. The story that did not receive the accolades that it deserved. Jalagon is a story about a character named Jagasaki that is a shitty ass police officer in the middle of butt fuck nowhere in Japan, apparently. And he's just stopping drunks in the daily and shit like that. He ain't really shooting shit up. And he always talking about shoot him up, shoot him up and shit like that. Always having flashes of shooting niggas in the face. And the first scene we see of him is like in front of these fucking kids, these teenagers trying to get them off the street and shit. And they're calling him a virgin, a bitch, and telling him how lame he is. But he probably got one of the baddest bitches back at home. And speaking of that, bro doesn't even want to marry the bitch. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't really want to marry because he don't want to really settle down. Because he's like, damn, what, uh, what happens? I get married, I have kids, and then I just die and I stay at this job forever? That's fucking boring he wants more hype in his life one day in particular bro's about to go stop a drunk with one of his uh police partners or whatever right so they boom they slide over to the train station and shit and they hype bro up you know being all nice and friendly and shit because jagon's a fake ass nigga you know he'd be thinking shit in his head but be be really nice verbally the drunk nigga gets confidence he's like hey thank you for that runs on the fucking train like a dumbass they chase him into there and then the doors close trains moving they're like ah fuck it right there's this nigga that's yelling in the corner that's where the manga shows he's yelling at somebody in the corner calling him an idiot blah 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 pretty much just stunting on rich nigga shit you know what i'm saying and then bro just turns into this fucking monster with a tongue and starts killing everybody on the fucking subway okay we're the police what are we finna do shoot him up nigga so bam nigga pull out the pistol and shit like that they didn't even get a fucking chance partner gets his ass slayed and then jaga gets his fucking fingers cut off and he's like god damn bitch i'm finna die like this and i didn't even get to shoot one bullet and then all of a sudden his hand just turns into this fucking the, the, I don't even know how to explain it. Shit looks like a gaping asshole. Look at it. Like, it, he just, bah, boom, shoots, bro. Head explodes. A fucking owl comes out of nowhere and catches a frog that jumps out that dead nigga's body. Boom, eats it. What the fuck is the frog? The frog is called a frenzied frog. They basically feed on human desires and they came from fucking space. The manga never really explains it for real. It doesn't really make much sense. They try to wrap it up at the end, but who cares? We're not here for that. We're here for fucking action. All those frogs jump from the sky and whoever has like the most desire, it feeds on their desires and their imagination and turns them into some type of fucking monster. Just like how Jaga on here said, damn, one last bullet. I really just wanted to shoot him up. Bam, hand turned into a fucking gun. Simple, you know what I'm saying? That nigga, the boss nigga that had the fucking tongue shit going on, he felt like he killed niggas with his tongue. Bam, turned into a tongue spitting monster and shit, telling us some how much money he got and shit, blah, blah, blah. He's a full monster. Now, there's fractured humans that turn into a complete monster, can't turn back to human, and then there's half fractured humans, which is what Jagasaki is. Because all these people do get a bird. They get assigned a bird that pretty much feeds on the frogs and shits out a shit ball that you have to sniff like crack in order to maintain your half fractured human form so you don't turn into a monster. Now, the owl breaks all this shit down and Jagan really wasn't trying to hear that shit and shot his ass. Bam. We didn't see the owl for a little minute. Bro heads back to the crib, back to his wife, to the comfort of his home. Doesn't tell his wife a fuck thing. His wife is just sitting there. They're sitting there chilling. She about to make the same boring old dinner that she always makes. This nigga is sick of it. You feel me? I'm surprised he don't beat on the bitch. Bitch need to chef it up like Gordon Ramsay. That ass. But anyways, she gets to cooking and chefing it up. She gets to like talking to him a little bit. And he sees this fucking frog and he's like, Oh shit, that's like a frog from earlier. It jumps into her fucking body like it just goes in her skin. You know, you can't feel it when it hops in. It just teleports into your body. You know, with her, she felt neglected at home. Jagasaki would always come home tired and shit like that, not really want to talk. She wanted him to meet his parents and shit. And she was like, yeah, we've been together for four years, all this shit. Her head starts doing all this weird movement and shit. And she turns to this big ass bumblebee with a stinger and fucking starts choking the nigga. Honestly, I would have liked it. What? But he ends up shooting her. Bah! Boom, her head fucking pops off and shit like that. And he puts her head in the fucking fridge. 
That's the start of the fucking manga right there. Just know that there is a superhero association that's kind of like how the boys is on Amazon Prime. It's like a little superhero association. They come together, they're like, hey, we're all fractured humans and we're trying to save the earth and kill all these frogs. Yeah, that's really it. The superhero association, you know, you guys can get into that. I don't want to spoil that for you because it's funny as fuck. Like just how it goes down and shit, how these niggas think they're going to save the world and shit. And they end up getting collateral and shit. Or end up being an evil organization trying to control Jakasaki because he's one of the most powerful niggas. Let's get to the fucking art. I mean, this, 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 shit's, this shit's awesome. I mean... I think the only most like disturbing parts in this was the way how the author just went on these tangents. He would pop out a side character that no one wants to see do the most vile shit you've ever seen in your life. And I'm starting to think that that's how that nigga likes that shit. There was this one nigga named Robachon that stalked women and shit like that because he couldn't get no bitches. And he put cameras, secret cameras in their room. Like he'd break in their house, put secret cameras in their room so he could watch them have sex and shit and masturbate to it. Bro was lost. I don't know what that was about and I don't know what we gained from seeing that. You know what I'm saying? So I can see why this ain't an anime. You know, bro ends up becoming a fractured human himself and can put his tongue in bitches' mouth and shit when making out and, and, and intoxicate and drug them and fuck them. One of the hoes that he liked that he put the cameras in her house, she ended up fucking on some dude or some shit when he thought he was like the only one. And then, yeah, he didn't like that. So he goes and finds that dude and then fucks the nigga's sister and makes a porno and puts it on the TV. But then there was another tangent that the author went on where he had a guy that consumed a girl and turned into the girl and was getting fucked by niggas. <laughs> Manga Messiah approved.